it's Lily and I'm doing a different type of video today. This is a vlog of my family's little trip to my husband's hometown, Langson Champagne. And this is the first time I've been out of the house in one week. I've been self-quarantined because of my fear of the coronavirus. But I'm overcoming that fear and getting out of the house and being obedient yeah. to God and having faith and trust in God that he's going to protect us and watch over us. Say hi. Hi. I've literally been out of the house three times in the last three weeks. And part of that was because of the coronavirus. Another part is that I just haven't been feeling good because of my the pregnancy. And the first trimester, it's been really hard on me. I've had a lot of morning sickness. But now I'm out of my first trimester and I'm starting to feel better. Say, this is Luke. I'm going to officially introduce you to my husband, Watt. Okay. <laughs> He's camera shy. But his name is Watt, and Watt means temple in Thai, right? Yeah. It means temple, and now he is a temple for the living God. Hallelujah. Yeah. And today, Watt, what did you do for me today, Watt? Yeah. He gave me Valentine's flowers red roses a bouquet of red roses and in thailand valentine's day is it's like their favorite ho holiday right the favorite western holiday <laughs> love day did luke get anything for valentine's day no not today maybe later and we're gonna we're waiting for the ferry right now we have to take about a two and a half, no, a one and a half hour ferry to the mainland and then another three hour drive. And we're gonna try not to get off on the ferry. Let's see how that goes. Just because there's probably so many germs, I doubt that they ever wash any of like the, the rails, the bars, like, yeah, and with this virus going, better safe, better safe than sorry. Is the ferry here? The yeah. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long as I walk. Let me walk. is my Jesus is my belief. 
Here's our food. Wow. What did Daddy get? Father God, thank you for everything you've blessed us with, Lord. Just guide us in righteousness and doing your will here, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. When you want the check, you gotta hit the in Champagne. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Jesus, for everything you blessed us with. Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Look at the good deer watch. These are crazy high shrimp. They're called mantis shrimp. Purple corn. Grilled bananas. What do you think, Luke? Are you hungry? Do you have fun at the market? He was the only one on a stroller. I guess Thai people don't like to use strollers much. Do they what? They don't, Thai people don't like to use strollers? Thai people don't like to use strollers? Mm -hmm. They like to carry, but some people... No, because they think the children can walk and land already and, and they don't think you do stroller much. He likes it. You like the stroller? And Luke is so happy. He's running around. This is so much more fun than being stuck home all day. Scared of the coronavirus. <laughs> Look at me now. And man. this menu that they have is so crazy. Now, right? They have like so many different things on the on the menu, and it's all in Thai. So Wat was trying to translate to me. What do they have? Steak. Yeah. They have yes. T-bone steak. Steak, steak, mm. steak. They have salad. Salad, is tuna salad. Thai. So they're trying to do like more foreign style menu. Mm -hmm. They have chicken New Orleans. Chicken in New Orleans. I have no idea what that could be. Uh, we just uh, ate, so I'm not very hungry. But we got some. What did you get? You need some coffee. Kilo. A sweet Thai back. coffee. Yeah. These little no. Thai toasts. You here before? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's one of Watt's best friends. He's so nice and he always Wait. meets with us and hangs out with us when we're here. They need an extra table, they just pull out another mat, a little table, and you right on the floor. Look at that! Go! Hey, look! 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 Hey, Wow, did you drink all that already? And Luke has his milk and some of the Rice soup in the morning. A traditional Thai breakfast. To get rice soup in the morning, you have to wake up early. They serve it between 5 o'clock and it's finished by, by 8.30 at the latest nine o'clock depending on the area that in. So we had to wake up early. I woke up Luke early and he didn't want to wake up. Oh, it's almost late. House. Should we move on? People are very friendly in Thailand. They'll let you sit in their front 
porch <laughs> for free. Aww. Are you gonna eat some rice soup? Huh? Are you gonna eat some rice soup? Yeah. This is a traditional Thai coffee. This one right here. And I asked them if they're not too sweet because it's really sweet. They put a lot of sweet condensed milk. And what has is Chanum Nani, Nani, Nani. which is a Thai tea. Nani, Coconut custard on top. Meow, 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 meow. Chip. 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 of this little coffee shop are Watts friends and they live right here and every morning they wake up and they set up all these tables out here and then by nine o'clock 9 30 they break them down and it's a simple life they don't need any license watch they don't need any license any registration <laughs> they don't pay any taxes right that's what I call free market enterprise, Capi capitalism mm. at its finest and simplest. It's Sunday morning. 
we already had our rice soup and some coffee and now we are going to the Sunday morning market in La May. La May. La May. La May. And it's a really beautiful market. It almost reminds me of like a it's in the woods. It's like a festival. It's really natural lots of shade and they have really mostly only food but really good food and it's about 20 minutes 15 minutes or 20 minutes from Watts hometown <laughs> Yesterday, you didn't want us to take the stroller. And today, you're gonna have to carry him because he doesn't like to walk, does he? My owl, my owl means I don't want. Oh, owl, done. It's like, what's it called in America? except for the music is a little bit loud. But otherwise, I can't complain. I'm gonna try to look for something to eat. What is it? What is it? Is it giraffe? Let's go, let's get something to eat. I don't know when I'm going to take a sip. Huh? What is it? What is it? Like a little bit sweet, please. A little bit sweet drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we're headed to the beach for a sunset picnic.
coming out here to sit. Lots of fried food, sweet food. I get a steam bun for him. Yeah. I sell it over there. Curry, rice soup, fish. After a while, it's the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Why are you not friendly, Luke? He's shy. P.I. Yeah. Here we sit and we have our snacks. And Luke's gonna eat steam bun. You want the steam bun? Here, take the bread off. The paper off. You want it? Let me take the paper off. People are so generous. He brought us three bars of chocolate. Why wow, you ordered some fish? Mm -hmm. You had to order fish so we can reserve this table they set up here. Uh oh. Wow. This is like almost like Vietnam style, right? What? So far this trip has been really amazing. We feel so blessed. Everyone's been so nice to us and Watt's friends are really happy at the idea that we're, we could be moving here and I think it's where we're supposed to be. Watt's happy, Luke's really happy and it's just really nice to be in a community, a community setting where people gather together and yeah, you just feel like like you're part of a community where we don't really have that on, on the island of Koh Samui where there's three groups of people there on the island. There's tourists, there's expats that live there, and then there's the Thai people that live there. And a lot, most of the Thai people or 50% 50, 50, 50 of the Thai people that live there probably are not from there. They're, you know, they've come there to make money from the tourists. And so there isn't a real Thai community at all. Like there's not Thai places where people gather like they have here. And the ex-cat community, so many people come and leave that like my friend, I've caught, I don't have any of the same friends as before. I've always been, the first few years I was making friends and they're leaving, just a new influx of people coming and going and it gets really tiring and it makes you just not want to even reach out to people because you know that they're just going to end up leaving so that's what's really hard about there and then and then i was just thinking about how like living in an, an area where it's mostly tourists what that does to you like yeah tour, tourism is really good for for a place because it brings in money but it's so exhausting spiritually like you all all when you're dealing with tourists like if, with us having a restaurant there you're always having to give of yourself recommend things ask questions be polite there's no depth in any the relationship and that's so draining on your spirit you know i just don't want to be in a place where it's all tourists 
really. And here in Lang Son Champagne, there's probably like two or three expats. But I do have one friend, one lady, a French lady who's lived here for like seven years. So I have one expat lady friend, which would is such a blessing. And you know, I'm just gonna keep practicing learning Thai and if you had told me like a few years ago that I would want to live here or move here, I, well, I've always considered it, but it's just, it's really changed so much. We've been coming here for the, for every three or four months for the last seven years. And there, something has lifted from here. It used to be so much more dense in the spirit. And you know, since I became a Christian, I've been praying for this place so much. And it's amazing how much how much it's changed in the last three years. Like I would get, me and Watt would both be under so much spiritual attack when we had come here before, and we were always so ready to leave. And it has not been like that the last three or four times we've been here. And people seem happier. There's like places for to gather, and um, people hang out on the beach. Like you can hang out to, with each other without having to spend money. Like. Yeah, picnics on the beach, and there's just more actually to do here, believe it or not, within a community sense. So it definitely feels like the right place to be, and we're looking forward to this new chapter. So thank you all so much for watching my first vlog on here. I don't know how many vlogs I'm going to keep doing. Watt's not really, he doesn't really like to be much on the camera, so, but maybe sometimes. So just let me know if you enjoyed this. God bless you all.